Hi broomheads! The reason I am making this video is because Degrassi Palooza is in three months. Three months. I'm going. Who all is going? I'm actually getting my butt to Canada for the first time ever. I am so excited to meet fellow fans and to meet cast and crew. <sighs> anyway, so I'm very excited to go to Toronto, to go to filming locations, to meet a bunch of my friends that I've met here on the internet thanks to Broomheads, and to freaking meet the twins. I'm gonna try not to cry. So, a lot of people have been talking about how they're going to cosplay certain characters at Degrassi Palooza. So what I've decided to do is kind of give a cosplay guide. If you don't have ideas and you don't want to pour through my thousands of screenshots on broomheads, then this might help give you some inspiration. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Do you want to cosplay somebody at Degrassi Palooza or some other convention where Degrassi cast members might be present? Well, I'm hoping to help give you some ideas or inspiration in this video. Number one, Alex. Do you want to be Alex? Just wear a blazer, some cut off jorts, and some sort of strange graphic tee. Or if you want to take it all the way back to junior high, just wear two patterns that don't match, such as polka dots on your shorts and stripes on your shirts. Next, Alexa. Alexa is gorgeous and stylish, but she didn't necessarily have a style that just screamed Alexa. She wore a lot of solid colors, a lot of mom jeans. She created, um, the hourglass silhouette. I'm pretty sure she had some shoulder pads in here and there. She has been seen wearing accessories like hoop earrings, bandanas, and pearl necklaces. And she did have great taste when it came to dresses for dances. Next, Allison. Allison is definitely a patterns girl and she's a little adventurous. She wears giant scarves sometimes tied around her ponytail, statement earrings, patterned pants or sweaters. Next is Amy, Allison's partner in crime. Amy had a cool style, but like many, it wasn't really anything original, let's say. But she is known for that yellow pom-pom sweater, which she wore with a houndstooth skirt. Next, you know what, I was going to skip her, but I'm going to put her in here. Annie. Anyone remember Annie from junior high? She was pretty cool, okay? Wear some hoops, a beret, a vest, some shimmer gold lipstick, and draw a star on your face, and you have become Annie. Arthur. Arthur has his iconic elements. Unfortunately, in high school, he's mostly known for no color, long sleeve shirts buttoned all the way up to the collar look extremely uncomfortable, and a foofy mini mullet. But let's stop and think for a minute. Let's not forget his trademarks, like the beret from that summer he spent in Paris. And let's not forget the house key necklace, a personal favorite of mine. Next, Bartholomew Bond. Uh, he had a signature style. Carry around a yellow plastic suitcase. Don't ever smile. <laughs> and he wore a lot of yellow, wore a lot of polos as well. And he was also seen a lot in his Degrassi sweater. Y'all, how I forgot BLT is beyond me, but I apparently just skipped right over him. BLT is super fun. He wears a lot of Degrassi clothes being an athlete, but he also wears a lot of fun, bright, neon colors. Oftentimes things cut off in some way or another, or sleeveless, and he sometimes wears overalls, which is awesome. And let's not forget his famous BLT sweater. Next is Bronco. Now Bronco is seen wearing that yellow, red, green scheme. I'm not sure if it's like a sports team he's representing or what, forgive me, but he's seen in that color combo a lot. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at my notes. Why am I so funny? But other than that, he's generally dressed like an archeologist wearing lots of brown. Caitlin, okay. There is a lot to say about Caitlyn because her style evolved a lot. In high school, she wears a lot of long floral skirts and she wears a lot of that dusty pink color. We do get to see a little bit of vest and tie action, which is a favorite for me. And there are a few other options for a little more fun outfits, like what she wore to try out for the talent show in high school, or what she wore to compete in the talent show in high school. 
And consider what she wore when she was dating clothes, that leather jacket and the mom jeans and the ponytail. And she always had that streak in her hair that's pretty iconic. Her style in junior high is a little less defining, but she does have her moments. We had the red hairspray, we had a lot of headbands, um, we had a lot of that, um, those belts, those giant like corset belts. Oh, and another good random look for Caitlyn would be her waitressing outfit from School's Out. Claude. Look, I know you hate Claude, all right? But let's get real. If you're gonna cosplay any Degrassi character, Claude is probably gonna be one of the most recognizable. Just dress like a pirate goth. It's so easy. A billowy men's blouse. One giant hoop earring. <laughs> a vest. Tight-fitting pants. Winkle pickers. Skull suspenders. A bullet belt. A leather jacket. A Bauhaus shirt. And glasses. Any combination of the above will get you recognized as Claude. Clutch. I mean, I feel like you shouldn't be mentioned here because honestly, unless you have the hair and then dress like Clutch, no one will really, really know who you're dressed like. But Clutch, of course, was seen in a lot of jeans, Converse, and blue t-shirts. <laughs> Mr. Raditz. <laughs> Rockin' rompin' Raditz just wears, well, suits. That's all there is to it. Even on casual days, he's dressed like an uptight man. Diana. Diana, one of her most defining characteristics is her beautiful, dark, curly hair. She wears a lot of skirts and plaids, but let's get real. When we're talking about Diana, there's only one outfit that we're all thinking of. That's that one time she actually had an episode and she wore that pink outfit that she snuck out of the house and went to Melanie's party in. That outfit is perfect. Dwayne. Dwayne does have his signature looks. In junior high, he wore a lot of combat boots, camo, gloves, like those, I don't know, fighter gloves? I don't know, he had gloves on and a lot of bandanas. And then of course in high school, he wore his Degrassi jacket a lot. He is also known to wear band shirts such as Grateful Dead and Asia. And he has even had in a cool dangly earring a time or two, which I love. Next is Dorothy. Dorothy wears a lot of tie-dye, a lot of vests, a lot of scrunchies, and a lot of plaid. Don't forget the glasses. You could even bring a water gun. Next, Erica and Heather, my loves. We don't really need a description for Erica and Heather, but I will go over a few items that stick out to me. They are the queens of black and white. Black and white everything. Often with a pop of color on the belt, the headband, or the earrings. We see a lot of polka dots, stripes, and ruffles. Basically, everything they wear is perfect. Joey. I mean, <clears throat> Joey. <laughs> well, you know what to do here. A Hawaiian shirt, a vest, and a fedora. Just to be safe, go ahead and pick the most obnoxious colors you can think of that kind of like conflict with each other, kind of make you uneasy, and uh, just slap them all together. He really likes oranges, he really likes greens. Or you could take it all the way back to junior high and make it a case of the four J's, my friend, Joey Jeremiah and his jean jacket. But you could get creative. We have a few other options. You could wear a trench coat. You could wear the little hazing outfit with the pantyhose on the head. That's a good one. There are a couple of t-shirt options. You could sport a Zit Remedy tee or even a CRAZ radio t-shirt. That would be cute. Someone needs to make one of those. Ms. Avery. There are a lot of possibilities here. She was really a fashionista in the halls of Degrassi, okay? She is known for her long, luscious hair and shoulder pads. <laughs> Some of the most notable um, outfits that stick out to me are the pink dress and the trench coat dress, as I like to call it. And she also sports yellow from time to time, which looks super cute on her. Next is Kathleen. Basically, Kathleen dresses like a square. But I'd have to say that the outfit in which she finds those joints in the tampon dispenser, that's a pretty recognizable outfit. I think something like that would stick out. She wears this blue tank top a lot too. She wears a lot of headbands. She wears a lot of hoop earrings. <laughs> the initiation outfit was pretty cute. That would be fun. LD. When I think of LD, I just think about that one episode that day that she wore her socks over her pants. But generally speaking, junior high LD is the, the more iconic of her phases. 
in terms of style. So we see a lot of flannel, we see a lot of baseball caps, we see, I wouldn't call them mom jeans, I would call them like cigarette jeans, but I don't really know what I'm talking about. And we see a lot of Converse. Later on, she really mixed it up. She wore a lot of like denim skirts and like slouchy sweaters and stuff, but you're just like, who's that? But, but, consider this. That day that LD came over to Lucy's house and Lucy like put all that makeup and that scarf on her, that would be fun. Consider recreating that. Next is Liz. I mean, Liz. <laughs> Liz is one of the most cosplayable characters of the show, I think, but that is largely because of her famous or infamous haircut, the Chelsea. She has somewhat of like a punk vibe, but it's not as loud as Spikes. And then high school involved growing out the Chelsea and wearing that ponytail right on the top of her head. In high school, I think one of her most signature looks was the yellow outfit. And she also wore a lot of vests her wardrobe had a lot of variety. She was always kind of mixing it up, so there's not anything that's too predictably Liz. But if you want to take it way back to junior high, why don't you just layer two tank tops on top of each other? And don't forget to scowl. Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Lucy is one of Degrassi's most regal fashionistas. There's a lot of good things to say about her style, but for this video, I'm just going to focus on some of the most recognizable Lucy outfits or elements. First of all, the Ankh necklace is a must. Consider teal blazers, floral ruffly skirts, jorts over leggings, many, many headbands and scarves. And let's not forget that awesome dress that's sort of like a tropical slash animal print design on it. She also wears a lot of orange and of course, sweatshirts with her own name on it. Don't forget the purple jacket, the military jacket, the denim jacket that had like the cartoon characters all over it. She also had some really good party looks, which I will insert. And of course, if we wanna bring it back to junior high, just go crazy with scarves. Just put scarves all over your body. And let's not forget that, what was her name? Pebbles Flintstone. Let's not forget that Pebbles Flintstone look, the little orange dress with the little zigzag him to it. And School's Out is also a very recognizable look. Next is Luke. Um, I don't really have anything interesting to report for Luke, except maybe what he wore to the talent show in the tutu. That time he wore a crop top, <laughs> or that time he wore those overalls. Next is Maya. Maya is known for extremely oversized t-shirts and luxurious hair, sometimes tied up with a big I liked her style, but she's just not one where you're going to say, that's a Maya look. Melanie. Oh, Melanie. Now she has a look for sure. If we're talking junior high, we're talking about a lot of bold primary colors or other saturated colors, which are usually occurring in the formula of long skirts, button down shirts, and a tie and or a vest. But if we're talking about high school, this has got a little bit of a 1950s vibe. We are looking at side ponies, scarves, cardigans, skirts, that sort of thing. She also, like Kathleen, had a cute little hazing look. Next is Michelle. Her style is very mature. She wears a lot of blazers, silky blouses, scarves, and these like very tapered looking like mom-like slacks that are very high-waisted. And in junior high, she was known for lots of pastels. Mike Nelson. I had to put him in here, y'all. And that's because his look is unmistakable. You, you must have a mullet. You must have a mustache, but no beard. And you must wear a green sweatshirt with the sleeves cut off. Oh my, Mr. Colby. I don't really, I mean, I wonder if someone's gonna dress like Mr. Colby. Well, if you wanna dress like Mr. Colby, clean shave your face, put on some sort of mousy brown toupee, and put on the tackiest sweater you can find. You'll be unmistakable. The thing about Mr. Colby is like, it's not funny, but, He's fun to joke on. Like people have always just joked on him and made fun of him and like 
But even though like everything he's doing is not funny and this whole ordeal shouldn't be a joke, it's just it's just like he's so creepy that it's hilarious. Next is Nancy. Nancy just wears a lot of pink basically. <laughs> or peach. A lot of t-shirts, headbands, knee-length shorts, but sometimes there is definitely a cool sweater thrown in. Nick. Uh, Nick's got a he's got a pretty signature style too. He's got a lot of denim, a lot of vests. He always like cuffs his sleeves up. And I think he's got combat boots on a lot. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> oh, Patrick. Wanna be him? Just strap a guitar on your back, wear a bunch of denim and a newsboy hat, maybe a pogue shirt, and you're set. Rick. Rick. Let's take it back to junior high and remember Rick. That's great cosplay potential. Wear a bunch of denim, a bunch of Harley Davidson apparel, wear tight jeans and Converse. And if you have biceps, whip them out. Scooter, um, I always say it like scooter. Uh, scooter, he doesn't have a lot going on, I'm sorry. He wears a lot of polos. Shane, you could get a little creative and I've probably missed other opportunities to be creative while making this list. But with Shane, you could carry around Egbert. You could carry around a pregnancy test. You could carry around a sheet of acid. <laughs> but generally, Shane wears a lot of tie-dye and a lot of t-shirts. But his acid dropping outfit is pretty recognizable, so that's always a good option. Simon, his style isn't much to write home about either. He just dresses like a 2000s boy in my opinion. But you could always do football Simon or talent show Simon. Snake. Now Snake has style. <laughs> Aside from his Zip Remedy merch, we see a lot of colorful patterned shirts. He is seen in a lot of yellow and orange, which I really like on his gingery complexion. But please, please don't forget Talent Show Snake and It Creeps Snake. Also, please remember that time where Snake tried to dress like he was 21 under the name John Bertram. Spike. She's got great, great looks, so I'm just going to pick out a few to highlight here. Band shirts like The Mission, The Cult, The Pogues, Billy Idol, Violence. In junior high, I really liked how she added those ruffles to her looks to look a little more Victorian. Another famous junior high getup is the pink pants with the red vest and the cult tee. The blue and yellow combo. The black sleeveless with the purple skirt and tons of jewelry. Some highlights from high school include the Asking Snake Out outfit, the Skull and Crossbones Cardi, and the Date with Patrick outfit. And one of my top favorites ever is this one, which I hardly got any pictures of because the cutest outfits are always on people when they're in the background or in motion. Stephanie. When you think of Stephanie K, what do you think of? You think big hair and you think pink. You think bared shoulders and pearls. Remember, it's grade eight. You're mature now. You have to start dressing more mature. But we also need to mention the outfit she wore when she was depressed and the outfits she wore when she decided to turn down the slutastic style and look a little more presidential. Susie. Susie didn't really do anything crazy. I mean, sometimes she popped her collar. Sometimes she wore that black and gold sweater but sadly she doesn't really have a signature. Tabby, this is a fun cosplay opportunity. Degrassi jacket, mini skirt, pantyhose, and high heels. Don't forget to carry around some sort of delicious snack such as dips or Skippy peanut butter. She does wear some other stuff too though, so here. Tessa, honestly when I think of Tessa's style, I'm thinking about school's out. I'm picturing her in that yellow halter dress. However, she did serve some looks throughout her time in Degrassi, but again, none that are so unmistakably Tessa like the yellow halter dress. Tim. Tim kind of had it going on there in high school with the tie-dye, but of course you could get mistaken for Yik if you go like that. You could always try his magician outfit from the talent show if you like. Trish. Sadly, the only thing that really stands out about Trish is her mohawk. But she did have that like cute over scrunchied side pony look from junior high too. 
Trudy, <laughs> why am I doing this? Um, she had red hair. She liked stripes. I don't know. Vu Vula. Vula. I always say Vula. Vula. She wore big glasses. She wore a lot of ruffles. She like had things up to here and like down to here, right? Like don't show any skin. Wear peasant skirts. And just to be safe, just to be extra modest, go ahead and put a cardigan over your shoulders too. Wheels, of course, Wheels' outfits would be undoubtedly wheels. Tight pants, preferably light wash jeans, a slightly billowy shirt in white, pale blue, something fairly colorless. Don't forget to have a scrumptious mullet and don't forget those amazing 80s glasses. Please note, Pants must be tight enough to read a date on a dime. Yik. High school yik involves a lot of tie-dye and a lot of jeans, but don't forget the dangly earring. And then middle school yik involves a lot of oversized polos with like really messed up collars. So take your pick. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a doozy, but I'm done. All right. So that's the list that I came up with. There are a lot of ways to get creative, but let's talk Degrassi Palooza, you know, like, let's talk, are you going? Who do you want to meet? Are you going to dress up? Who are you going to dress up as? What other ideas do you have for dressing up? And that's it. That's it. Good night, broomheads.